Okay, guys, so I came by gyms once again today and got stood up, and for some stupid reason, this sign is out in front of the building today. Um, I'm going to have to edit this when I get home, but uh, you'll see something cool or something that's making me happy, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so um, like I said, I sat in front of gyms for uh, nearly two hours. No text back, no uh, phone call back, nothing. And uh, I just finished watching uh, Chuck's Copper Coins. Well, actually, still, I had my tablet literally hanging over my steering wheel so I could uh, sit and watch that while I waited and hopefully he would show up. And out of nowhere, here come these two ladies, I'd say around the same age as me, and looked at that um, price on the building and were, you know, pretty ecstatic and carrying on about it and said, oh my God, he dropped the price. And so, of course, I can hear this. I cracked the window because I'm ear hustling, you know. And... Um, the friend was explaining to the other one that she really wanted that building and was, you know, explaining the ins and outs because she'd done this. Sorry, guys, my phone's dropping the layout and the size of the building to her friend. And uh, so I had to interject because, you know me, I can't keep my mouth shut. You know, and I said, oh, yeah, and there's an apartment upstairs, too. So um, the one girl said, yeah, I know. She was I've already been over here and looked at it. And I thought, okay, uh, you got my attention now. And she said, or I asked her what she wanted to use the space for. And she said, well, I wanted to use it for small um, starting out, you know, entrepreneurs and rent them space in here. And I said, she goes, if you're coming to buy the building, she said, oh, he's a horrible person. And I said, I've, I've known him for years. And uh, I said, actually, I was sitting here waiting on him to show up, and he hasn't. And, uh, you know, introduced myself, said I'm Melissa, and then the friend said, well, guess what my name is? I was like, Melissa. She said, yeah. And uh, her friend, uh, Jessica, said, yeah, I, I really do want to buy this space. And I told her the little messy situation with uh, the uh, other buyer. And, uh, of course, we exchanged phone numbers. So, hopefully a little bit of teamwork and girl power is going to work out on this one. And then this way, you know, I don't have the, you know, utilities, the insurance, the, you know, just the responsibility of upkeep for the building. But she said she would rent me the vault. So, oh my God, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, this one works out. I'm real, I'm pulling for her now. We're going to talk. We're going to formulate a plan because, uh, he can't say no to a pretty girl anyway. So I can't imagine three is, uh, going to help triple threat. So not all hope is lost and... I would rather see that building be turned into something for people to try, you know, the entrepreneurship end of it and not just get turned into storage. So, guys, you know, pray for me, cross your fingers, your toes, send me some good vibes, anything you can think of because I, 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 I can't have it. I want this girl to have it and then I can still be a part of what I wanted it to be and other people are going to get the opportunity to, you know to have their own business startup area somewhere just to jump off point and our town needs something like that so maybe that's my anniversary present from 
thank you. I don't know, but I'm I'm hoping, 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 hoping this works out. So I guess I'll check in with you guys later, and you know there's gonna be updates. But love you all much. Talk to you later.